Hello guys, it's Nato Ace, and in this video I'm just gonna do a special video basically showing what I got from Amazon. I gotta give props to Wario64 and Chip Ass Gamer on this one. And it is interesting they had a lightning deal on this, and it is something surprising like, well, why would I buy this? And I'll probably give my reason why I bought this, but what did I buy this? And what is it? So basically, like I said, it was a lightning deal on this. Let's just say retro theme product that I got from Amazon. They were $15 a pop each. So what are they? Let's just go get into it. So the first thing I got from Amazon, and surprisingly is, let's take it out. And that is, the Jaleco Brawler Pack. Yeah, it's like, what? Normally it's $30, but it's $15, and you get Rival Surf, Brawl Brothers, The Peacekeepers, and Tough Enough 60 big game cartridges for the SNES. Yes, this is an SNES, but it's not by Nintendo, or it wasn't produced by Nintendo Factory, let's just say that. It's from, uh, published by Retrobit, Jaleco. Yes, yeah, so, so you don't know who this company are. They basically do reproduction of 16-bit, like for the Super Nintendo era, basically for nostalgic reason. So basically, this is from 8-bit retro or re retro 8-bit or retro bit. Let's just say, it, excuse me. And basically, it comes with a sticker, but it's from games from Jaleco. You know, Jaleco, uh, they're a classic company. They still do make games, I think, but now they, you see some of their games from the arcade archive. So this was from the Super Nintendo. So basically, this is like a final. The games are basically Final Fight type, side-scrolling, beat em up. So like I said, these are the games. Pretty cool, the package. I'm not gonna be opening this, like, well, do I have a Super Nintendo? Well, I do have one, but it's broken. The closest one I have is the, the Mini SNES Classic. But you can actually buy those retro machine by Hyperkins. So I know a lot of people say they were good, some are good, some are bad, so it is what it is. Your opinion about it. But yeah, I mean, if you feel like want to play some Super Nintendo game, there you go. Like for me, I'm not gonna really open this. The reason I bought them is for display reason. I know that I like to collect them. If it looks cool, I'll buy them and I'll just put them for display. That's it. Yeah, it sounds like well, you shouldn't be doing that. Hey, you know, three of their own. So that's what it is. So very interesting there. Maybe I do um, showcase, but not with this game card. If you know what I mean, with wing. So yeah, this is the. Jaleco Brawlers Pack. So four games, $15, normally it's $30, so it is what it is. So the next one I got is from Amazon as well there. And this is actually more interesting. So let me grab this. And that is, whoops. The Data East Classic Collection. Again, for the Super Nintendo, same company, Retrobit, but this time it's Data East. And this one comes with Fighter's History, Fighter History, Dynamite, I guess, I don't know what that, or Part 2, looks like it. Side Pocket, Magical Drop, Magical Drop 2. Again, it was $15, normally I heard this was $40. Again, Retro Pack, or uh, Reproduction, same deal, these are the games, eight in the 16-bit era. They, at one point, yes, they were originally released like a Super Nintendo version, the cartridge. But the cartridge just looks different, but again, like I said, it's not really official Nintendo, but hey, it plays so, to some extent. But yeah, again, looks cool for display reason. And then the last one is, I heard this is the popular game. And again, you can, mostly you can buy this game also by the Arcade Archive, they probably have it. Or if you manage to get it from the Wii, the Data East Collection, or Johnny Turbo's downloadable game also they're like six dollars or seven dollars a pop whatever so the last one is joe and mag the ultimate game and collection again super nintendo version at one point they were released as a single card but again that was a long time ago same deal data east looks cool all three smash hit for the first time joe and mag congo scaper and joe and mag 2 i have played the arcade version of this it's, it's cool it's like it's a crossover of Mega Man and Super Mario Brothers, in my opinion. Yeah, really popular game. So, like I said, there is an arcade version from Arcade Archive by Hamster. So, there you go. Join Mac, Congo Caper, Join Mac 2, Super Nintendo version. Again, I heard there are good games. So, and again, I might do a showcase, but not with this card, if you know what I mean. 
I'll be using my quote unquote the rig if you know what I mean there. Uh, so anyway, yeah, there you go. So Joe and Mac, the Ultimate Kid Collection, Data East Classic Collection, and of course the Jaleco Brawler Spec Collection. So I gotta give props to it, like I said, both cheap ass gamer and Warrior 64 for basically announcing this for cheap price. Like it's normally they cost like more than thirty dollars from what I heard, but there you go. And again, it's only just meant for display, not really so much of I'm gonna play them. I know, you know, just like well, like this game. I chances me playing this game really is probably now slim since the Steam version is much better. But there you go, the Retro Big basically published a collection there, pretty awesome. So yeah, so again, thanks to them. Thumbs up. With that. I'll see you guys later.